in this video we will focus on superficial expansion and cubical expansion we will begin with superficial expansion when a thin rectangular metal sheet is heated its length as well as breadth increases in general on heating a metallic plate or a sheet its area increases so the change in the surface area of a sheet on heating is known as superficial expansion this expansion depends upon original area of the sheet change in temperature and nature of the material about nature of the material you have already studied in linear expansion if you have a copper sheet and an aluminium sheet of the same size and if you heat them up to the same extent then you will find that aluminium sheet is expanding more than copper we will now see the mathematical relationship of the expansion with its various factors that affect superficial expansion if the initial area of the sheet or a plate is a0 at 0 degree celsius and on heating to a temperature t degree celsius let's say the area becomes at then obviously the length as well as the breadth of the sheet will change initial value of length and breadth of the sheet will be lesser than the final value of length and breadth so we can say that the superficial expansion is directly proportional to a0 which is the original length which means that the greater the sorry original area which means that the greater the area the more will be the expansion and expansion since also depends upon the change in temperature so the more the rise in temperature more will be the expansion the more the fall in temperature the more will be the contraction so on combining these two expressions we can rewrite the expression as the expansion is directly proportional to a0 delta t in order to express in a equation form we will have to remove the proportionality sign and will put a proportionality constant this proportionality constant is known as coefficient of superficial expansion and is known as beta so the expansion at minus a0 in short can be written as delta a where delta is the change in area and delta t is the change in temperature so delta a is equal to beta a0 delta t on rewriting the equation for beta which is the coefficient of superficial expansion the equation is delta a upon a0 delta t that is in this expression beta is the uh, coefficient of superficial expansion a0 is the original area delta t is the change in temperature and delta a is the change in area that was all about the superficial expansion now we will move on to cubical expansion when a solid is heated its volume increases now here what do you mean by volume volume here means that the solid is showing expansion across length breadth and height or you can say thickness thus increase in the area i'm sorry increase in the volume of the solid on heating is known as cubical expansion or volume expansion just like superficial expansion volume expansion also depends upon three factors first is the original volume second is the change in temperature 
and the third is nature of the material. Here also we will deduce a mathematical relationship between the volume, initial volume, final volume, change in temperature and expansion just like in the previous case. So if the volume of the block at 0 degrees Celsius is V0, then on raising the temperature up to T degrees Celsius, the new volume becomes Vt. So the change in volume will be Vt minus V0 and can be written as delta V. If I am clear, I think, then we will proceed further. So the change in temperature will be T minus 0 delta T. So when we combine the, uh, these uh, factors which affect expansion, then we will find that this expansion is directly proportional to the change in temperature. The greater the rise in temperature, the more will be the cubical expansion. The more the substance will expand in all the directions. The greater the initial volume of, a, of the solid block, the more will be the expansion. So on combining both the factors together, delta V is directly proportional to V naught delta T and in proper mathematical ex, uh, expression on removing the proportionality sign will put a constant of proportionality known as coefficient of cubical expansion and this is the symbol gamma. Coefficient of cubical expansion can be rewritten as in this form delta V upon V naught delta T. So on concluding we can say that gamma is the coefficient of cubical expansion, beta is the coefficient of superficial expansion. Both of them have the same SI unit which is per Kelvin. However, another common unit for both of them is per degree Celsius. And now comes a very important relationship between alpha and beta, which is the coefficient of superficial expansion and the coefficient of linear expansion. Since linear expansion is the expansion that takes place in one direction, but superficial expansion is the expansion that takes place in both the directions across length as well as breadth. Therefore, beta is equal to twice of alpha. Just now you have been taught that whenever cubical expansion takes place, the increase in length, breadth as well as thickness is observed and hence gamma is equal to thrice of alpha. Because here in cubical expansion, the expansion is taking place in three directions while in linear expansion expansion is taking place only in one direction on combining both of them we can write the equation uh, or the relationship between alpha beta and gamma as 1 is to 2 is to 3 so this is the relationship between all the three coefficients of expansion. Let us now define all these three coefficients of expansion. If you have a specimen which is a wire or a pipe or a rod of unit length for example 1 meter and the temperature is raised by only 1 degree Celsius then the coefficient of linear expansion is defined as the change in the length of the specimen one unit long when its temperature is changed by 1 degree Celsius. Similarly, in order to define coefficient of superficial expansion, if you have a metallic plate or a sheet of length as well as breadth equal to 1 meter and if you raise the temperature of the sheet by only 1 degree Celsius, then it is defined as the increase in the area per unit original area at 0 degree Celsius per unit rise in temperature. In both of, in all the three 
definitions we have assumed that initial temperature of the substance is 0 degree celsius now comes the third one the coefficient of cubical expansion you have suppose a metallic block of length breadth and thickness 1 meter and initial temperature is 0 degree celsius and you and it is raised to 1 degree celsius then the coefficient of cubical expansion is defined as the increment in the volume of a unit volume of solid liquid or gas for a rise in temperature of 1 degree celsius at constant pressure yes now uh, this is something new which has been added here that cubical expansion is also seen in liquids and gases in the entire video we spoke only about solids but now in the upcoming lectures you will find that the cubical expansion is observed in liquids and gases as well.